everybody and welcome to Vickyville. I wanted to share this short video with you all about my St. Patrick's um, home decor. I didn't do as much as I usually do, but you know what? Sometimes it's just less is more and that's kind of what I have with you. But I really did want to share with you my new dishes that I got. You know I'm a dish addict and I love supporting our local uh, thrift store and actually I have his phone number and he's call always calls me and is like, I think you would love this new uh, tea set I have in or these new dish sets I have in and so I love it. I'm so happy today too. I just got back from church and it was such a good message and so I feel really positive and I hope that you always remember to that I love you and I wanted to share this um, Irish blessing with you. I found it and I wanted to go along with kind of um, my home tour. and it, It's just so positive and I wanted to share with you. It says, may there always be work for your hands to do. May your purse always hold a coin or two. May the sun always shine on your window pane. May a rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near you. May God fill your heart with gladness to cheer you. And that's an Irish blessing. And I want to wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful relaxed Sunday, and also it's gonna be St. Patrick's Day! So wear green, be happy, and just have so much joy, and always remember to keep it crafty. Vicky Vida loves you, bye! Okay, first I wanted to show you just some of my decor that I placed on my tables. It's not too much St. Patrick's, but I just love how it all color color coordinates and I just went shopping within my own house. You know how much I love dishes so I just found all these dishes in my in my stash. I put all of my Franciscan dishes in my hutch here and I put my teapots in the bottom section and then there's some of my Pyrex and here's some of my Franciscan, well all of it mostly and there's my hutch and I love it. It's so nice to know that everything is dusted and clean. It's like very exciting. And then there's just the living room. So let me show you the rest. Here's the entry table. All this stuff that we just put on our keys and everything. And then here is the family room. Here's my hutch. My little birdhouse, I kind of moved it. Let me show you the rest. This is a new tea set that I got from the vintage store in Chino. I love it. And I got that whole set. It's like more than 12 piece setting for $45. Can you believe that? That whole set. There's coffee cups and tea cups. And there's a, um, one of the so you won't burn your table. What is that called back there on the right? A hot plate or whatever. And then there's a serving dish. There was that vase there. Salt and pepper shakers. And then there was also like a scent. So you could put different scents so it could smell good. Potpourri in there. There's a creamer and a and I thought that was just so cute. I love dishes and that's kind of what inspired me to clean, wash all the dishes so I could, I used to have the, my Franciscan set in there, but I changed it over for this and I think it's pretty for spring. So I love that. And then there's my little Bjorni, he's, he's out. <laughs> but then I, I moved my picture that was in my bedroom and I moved it in here because I thought it looked really pretty with my table. And I love it too because I just got these depression plates and little cups from um, the, the thrift store. And I also got these little set of, um, if you have like a poached egg, you put it in there and it comes with, it came with that. I think I got a six pieces of the poached egg and then that little dish and then that oval dish with it. And it like was such a good deal. And then there, there's my teapot that I always have. Every year I bring it out because it's St. Patrick's. 
And so I love the table, it's so festive. And then, let's go this way. Oh, we are watching Bridesmaids, I just put it on pause. Here's the coffee table, I just added some, those were my vintage green plates in my Mary Ingle Bright pitcher, and I just added some green flowers there. So here's the mantle. I just got that garland from Hobby Lobby and I just kept my Mary Bright teacups from my friend Sandra and I just added that and then there's the tree, St. Patrick's tree there. I think that's so fun. I didn't do as much as I usually do but sometimes less is more, right? And so and then I just got that little throw because it matched. I thought that was super duper cute. And then there is on the window, you can't really see because of the sun, but there's that. So I thought that was so fun. So there's kind of the overview of the family room for St. Patrick's. little table that I'd got from the thrift store that my husband painted. So fun. My son's right there. Say hi, Jake. <laughs> we just came home from church and I was like, okay, I'm going to film. And he's like, do you want me to leave? And I'm like, no, I won't film you. But then you got to see, he's my bud. He's my, my bestie. All right. So there's the family room.